Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna talk about five lazy ways you can stay organized. That's right, five low maintenance, lazy person's ways for you to stay organized and to keep your house in order but they don't require that much effort. Now, a lot of my friends always ask me, they go, Kay, how the heck do you keep your house so organized? How can you do that? How can you be so organized? And the true answer is, ultimately, I'm lazy. All I want to do is like sit around, watch YouTube videos, eat the popcorn, have a gift cocktail, pet the dog. I don't want to do cleaning. I don't want to do organizing. I don't want to like to put stuff away. And that is why ultimately I'm very organized. I've found through my entire lifetime that being disorganized is actually very effortful. It's effortful because you have to let all these things around you pile up all these little like chores and things to do and like things to put away and then by the time you get to it it's like this enormous thing and then you have your task with this enormous job. Who wants that? Not me. I'm lazy. I don't want like a list like 10 stories high of things to do. I just want to like hang out and have fun. So here are five ways, five little ways you can be lazy and be organized and still have fun. Ready? Let's go. Grouping items by function sounds really simple and really simplistic, but it really, really works, especially if you group them in a little container by function. So I like to think of all the items in my house and sort of, um, I don't know, maybe anthropomorphize them and let them think that they're friends. And all the friends that love to play together also like to live together. So why not do that same thing with all the items in your house? So let's say you're baking a cake or something like that. And you go and you grab the vanilla and then you go and grab the baking soda and the baking powder. And then you go and grab the sprinkles and then you have to get the salt or whatever. Why not keep most of your baking things that you need only when you're baking in one container? Then you can just grab the container, use all the things, and then put it back when you're done. That makes so much more sense. I do the same thing with my skincare uh, in the morning. I grab the whole little basket, put it on the sink, and then I use all my products, I put the products back in the basket, and then I put the basket back in the cabinet. I don't have to go and grab my cleanser and then put it back. I don't have to go and grab my, you know, uh, skin oil and then put it back. I can just like grab it once and put it away and don't have to worry about anything. And if you're all of your items that are like functioning together, live together, it can make your life so much easier. items by color can actually trick the eye into making things look more neat than they actually are. I have a bookshelf here and I have I have arranged the books in a, a sort of false color blocking style so that all the green books are next to one another and all the blue books are next to one another and all the orange books are next to one another. That way it looks neater than it actually is and it also helps me find books faster. I personally remember what the color of the spine looks like rather than, you know, what the subject of the book is and when I'm looking for a book easily I can go and find it. This works the same in my closet with my sweaters and shirts and I arrange them by color family and colors that way if I'm looking for a black hoodie or something I can easily find it and I don't have to ruffle through you know piles and piles of clothes to find the one I need it's so much easier when things are sort of color blocked you don't have to do rainbow order as a matter of fact it's less conspicuous if you do it out of rainbow order you don't have to do red orange yellow green blue indigo <laughs> but it, if you just color color block items together like if all the same color items are together it's gonna be much easier for you to find that stuff I know that when I have a really large list of things to do I get really overwhelmed and I don't want to do them especially if they're unpleasant things like cleaning the toilet and taking the dishes out of the dishwasher and folding all of the laundry those things I want to do like in little little chunks so saving all of your chores for one big clean day is not a good idea if you want to make sure that you get them all done and not get overwhelmed splitting your chores up into little chunks of time during the week is going to help you like maybe one day you'll clean the bathroom and you'll basically just clean the counters and maybe you'll clean the toilet that's all you're gonna do and how long is that gonna take you like I don't know five minutes take five minutes do a little something 
Then, you know, the next day you'll clean up the kitchen and you'll take five minutes to like really clean the sink and that's all you'll do and then you'll be caught up. So the, basically you wanna make sure that you're maintaining the cleanliness of your home and not saving your cleaning for just all in one day, which you're gonna spend all day cleaning and who wants to do that, right? When you're putting things away, make sure you're only doing it one time. I know that it's really tempting to like come home and take off your shoes and like fling them over in the corner. Before you know it, you have like 13 pairs of shoes flung in the corner and you never put them away. So it's really, really tempting to like really put those things in what I call a purgatory before you actually put them in their place. But putting things in their place actually takes less effort. So when you come home, put your shoes away if you can put them away. That way you're only touching them once and it takes just as much effort to do it now than it does to do it later. As a matter of fact, yes, you're using more energy because you're gonna put it in this little purgatory and then you're gonna put it away later. No, do it now. That way you can relax and watch TV later. And lastly, take advantage of technology to help you stay organized and remind you to do things. I know that I am uh, someone who doesn't do anything unless their Google, unless my Google Calendar tells me to do it. You can set up your phone to give you a little reminder to tidy up before bed, and you know only schedule yourself 10 minutes or something like that to schedule um, a little tidying time before bed. It also helps you remember to like give your pets medications and things like that. Just set up little reminders so that you don't have to remember or write them down or anything like that. Use technology to your advantage. Think of it as having like a virtual assistant. You can even name her. Mine's named like Josephine. And whenever like Josephine pops up, I'm like, oh, she's telling me to do something. Thank you, Josephine. I live to serve. So that's it. Those are the five lazy hacks to keep your home more organized. And ultimately, they require less effort than being disorganized. So it's not like you can sit around and do nothing, but you have to do less than being disorganized. In the next video, we'll talk about five high maintenance habits that are totally worth it when keeping your home organized. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed for more organizing magic and fun vlogs. And I hope that I'll see you next time. Bye.